So if you had to summarize Candle Cove, the whole thing starts with Eddie. He's born and he has supernatural powers. Nobody's sure why, but regardless, he does. He also gets bullied and this creates a really bad combination where he turns completely evil. And what he does is he projects this Candle Cove TV show, which is basically a creation of his mind, into the minds of kids. He also does something that's very important. So he saves this teacher. She's having a seizure. And then he saves her and she's so impressed with his power and his gifts that she becomes his devoted follower. So he has both supernatural power and that he can project this TV show and lots of other things as well. And then he also has just real world ordinary power with this teacher who follows his beliefs and also she creates these these puppets that mimic this deranged TV show that he created in his mind. So the tooth monster that we see, this is actually Eddie. And this seems to be the form that he takes when traveling around in the world in his fantasy place with all the kids skin hanging. He actually is in the form of his young body, how he was when he died. But when, he, we, when we see him on the show out in the real world, He's covered in teeth. Now, one interpretation is that every time he steals a kid, and remember there's all these missing kids, basically Eddie has taken them, done something with their bodies, but their spirits seem to be in this horrible monster world, fantasy world he's created. Every time he takes a kid, he also takes one of their teeth as a kind of sick toll that they must pay before entering his fantasy world, and each tooth is symbolic of a child he kidnapped. Now, one of these kids that he kidnapped is actually the son of the teacher, and it's unclear why she sacrifices her own son. Is she just so filled with gratitude for him saving her life from the seizure? Is she so in awe of his great power that she's just completely under, her, under her, his spell? It's unclear why, but regardless, she is actually, so we get three examples of jawbone. We see the jawbone who's the costume, and that's just her walking around in the costume. Like I said, as a kind of tribute to Eddie, she makes these costumes of his evil creations. Then we see jawbone on the TV show that gets projected into kids' minds. Then lastly, we see in Eddie's weird fantasy world or alternate dimension, we see the actual demonic figure that jawbone is based on, and this is the skin taker. And on the kids' TV show, we oftentimes hear about Bravery Cove. Now what Bravery Cove is based on is this evil fantasy world that Eddie's created. And we see this world, we see there's all these children's skins hanging. So basically the skin taker takes the skins off children, hangs the skins up, and then the children just stay there skinless. And we see a photo of this. What I'm never clear about is we see this fire monster. And I'm not quite sure what the fire monster is. Maybe anyone who knows or has an idea can post in the comments. And anyways, the basic plot of the series is Eddie from the spirit world lures his brother Mike back by making him write in his arm, please come home, lures him back, then lures his daughter back, kidnaps his daughter, takes his daughter to Bravery Cove, to this evil spirit world, so he can lure Mike to rescue his daughter. Then he wants to take Mike's body because Mike is a child psychologist, so he thinks that having this body of a child psychologist is gonna give him all this trust of parents trusting him with their kids, and basically he's gonna be able to inflict maximum evil on the world. And this is one example of why twins can be such a great element of horror and why we find twins so scary. So there's just that basic element that twins is like the lowest level of clones. You have a bunch of clones and you see all these things that look exactly the same and it's unnatural and it's unsettling. But at a deeper level, the idea of having a twin, it infringes one on your idea of a self and on your idea of being completely unique. And also there's this potential for error and confusion and mistaken identity, which is a great element of horror. And some other horror themes the show explored that I liked, this idea that the fears we have as kids and what we experience in our childhood, that's often the same things that drive us throughout our whole lives. It's just often disguised. So oftentimes all the things we're striving for, all the things we're scared of as adults, it really deep down at some level is the exact same stuff that scared us or drove us during our formative years. Also this idea of kids being more sensitive to the paranormal, whether it's ghosts, imaginary friends, the Candle Cove is just one example of this. And then also this idea of is it supernatural or is it just ordinary human evil? So when you they threw the teacher in, and she's in some way his minion and carrying out his commands, it throws this wrinkle of everything we see, we don't know if it's supernatural or if it's just something that someone's doing that appears supernatural, but really it's just basic human, human evil. And towards the end, we see that it is supernatural, but nonetheless, I love movies where you're not really sure because it creates this idea that maybe you in your own life could start seeing these things you think are supernatural. You could experience ghosts, you could experience this, 
and you know that that's a possibility because you know it's possible those things are just faked by ordinary people and their ordinary desires. So anyways, that's my quick explanation slash review. If you haven't heard of the show, you should definitely check it out. And even if you didn't like this first season, each season is so different. They have a completely different mood and feel that I definitely wouldn't write off the whole series. And uh, season three is coming on right now. So definitely, I think it's worth the watch. Again, just totally different vibe of all three seasons. So I would at least give each one, give a few episodes a chance and see if you like it.